Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and this is an educational one. It's a lot different from what we've been shooting recently. Yeah, yeah. But I think this was quite due. We've got a lot of uh, responses for making educational videos. So today we're going to talk about stage 2 tuning. And this is a very important one and if you're a beginner, you should check out our first video which was about stage 1 tuning for beginners because then you'll understand why this is the next step. Absolutely. So we'll put the link out right here. Please go check it out if you haven't seen it already and then come to this video. So today we talk about stage 2 tuning and a lot of people wanted some more educational videos. You can see a lot of comments <laughs> and today we thought we should address that. So stage 2 tuning, what is it? We're not, we're not going to go completely into the depth of each aspect of it, but we are going to kind of clear the confusion that's out there of what entitled stage 2. So we've already covered a video on types of exhaust and what kind of upgrades you can do. If you haven't checked it out, please see the link uh, right up here. So in stage 1, the exhaust upgrades were limited to only the end segment of it. And that was mainly for the noise or for the excitement of the drive that you get when you pull your car. So in stage 2, the exhaust upgrade is much more beneficial to give you a better performance. Now, in a stage 2, the exhaust upgrade actually helps you get a bump in performance. Till now, in stage 1, you would do a catback exhaust which would just help with sound. It's marginal performance but mainly sound. But in a down with a downpipe upgrade, you get better performance as well. That's where you get about 5 so it depends on the car and the engine size. You could get marginal performance gains in horsepower and torque. But I think that's the overall feel of stage 2 where you focus more on the drivability and making the car more stronger to take those enhancements and it does not give you that much gain as such. Yeah, but what's interesting is it helps you refine the curve. So basically in a stage two, your curve becomes a little better, yeah. smoother yeah. and it uh, you get more power to the high end in general. It depends on the car, it depends on the engine, but this is a generalized. So scale. that's why to make space for the second tune or your remap or your stage two map, you're doing these certain hardware component upgrades to make the tune even more refined. So the tune is basically helping your hardware actually give you those performance gains. Exactly. That's but the best way to put it. I think also in the tune, now when you first go out and want to do your stage 2 remap, you also have to consider what fuel type you're looking at because your tunes can be fabricated to a 93 octane uh, fuel, a 95 or a 99 octane fuel. So according to what you prefer, you can get that much performance out of your car. And obviously it's needless to say, as you increase your octane rating, you get better performance. And also it's cleaner fuel so it's better for the engine performance as a whole yeah but in terms of in terms of durability but it's also costlier so if you better watch out on how much you're burning out of that fuel this hobby is expensive <laughs> after you do a ecu tuning you also come to the segment where you can consider a tcu remap now with a tcu tune it's mainly for automatic gearboxes obviously so the tune basically helps the gearbox cope with the additional torque and power because yeah. at the end of the day it's designed only to handle a certain amount of power and torque so you need some tweaks for it. So for example, your clamping force, your clutch, how it engages, a lot of factors. I mean, we won't get into the Yeah, details. those I think we'll just throw everybody off a little. Yeah. So that TCU tune helps the gearbox and your basically your transmission to cope with that power. Ideally, if you don't want to go for a TCU remap, you can also just cross check with where you're getting your car worked on. Just check with the people out there that will your transmission be able to handle it or not. Yeah. And you can let us know, you can always DM us, we can always yeah, help yeah, you. We can help get you in touch with some workshops or garages. Yeah, absolutely. Now, 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 the next important thing. This is not exactly in the stage 2 purview, but it's very, very important. I think what I know what you're about to say. So that it, it adds a lot of more confidence in your car when you're driving it with so much more power. Yeah. And of course, we'll address this in a completely uh, separate video because that topic is large. It's endless. It's endless, <laughs> yeah. But basically what we are trying to say is tires, brakes and suspension. We Out cannot of, emphasize this yes. enough. We need to emphasize on brakes because you do all this to your car. You need some supporting elements to put down that power and to actually stop you. Yeah, so when you're flooring your car, you need a better brake so that you can control your stopping distance also. Yeah, stopping distance. Or of course, it depends on your use case of your car. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's very important. And tires, because tires are the main thing which is putting down the power. So if yeah. you don't have any traction, I mean, you're just not doing anything with it's, your car. It's not just about traction, but I think a better grip and better way to drive the car also with <laughs> that much power being So driven. handling, everything comes yeah. into the picture. I mean, 
mean uh, with better tires you do get better cornering and better in some cases you get a better mileage but all those things obviously addressed in the next uh, video yeah. so just a little quick recap of the video that we've spoken so far we talked about the ECU tune where there are multiple tunes they, you get better performance out of it stage 2 type of fuel to consider or you can pay attention to and in tandem we get the TCU also for that and not just software upgrades but you also consider hardware upgrades like your intake your exhaust and tires and brakes coming up yeah. and here the important thing to note is you need the intake and the exhaust to in order to do the stage 2 tune. Yeah, that's yeah. important. But yeah, that's the recap. And thank you so much for tuning in. And as usual, if you enjoy our content, please do like this video and please subscribe because we have I think 80%. Noted, yeah, 90, 95 percent. I think it's just not uh, subscribing. But just we are glad to see people watch. But yeah. just, just, just it's just, one just, click just, away. Just, just, just a free <laughs> click. Just please. Okay, and also the bell icon. So you know next time we upload. Yeah. So see you guys.